Karma Babies, how are you doing? Welcome to my channel. This is Granny Karma, and if you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and uh, notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I do a new video. Well, guys, I'm in uh, here today. Um, I've been rather busy, and now I'm just sitting and going over some notes, and I decided that I wanted to share with you guys how to store rice, regular long grain rice uh, for long term storage. Now I'm going to uh, include a video uh, that I did a while back, a year or two, where I did, you know, store some rice. This is, if you, if you are a new beginner uh, prepper, this is one of the easiest things that you can get started out with. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you. When I first started, uh, this was, you know, storing rice, storing beans. Those are almost foolproof items that you can store. And uh, it's not a lot of work and not a lot of stress. And, you know, they make it a little bit easier for you um, to figure out how to do it. Now I have a few notes here because I want to make sure that I share as much information as possible for you guys. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be uh, storing some rice. The rice that I like, I'm going to show you here. Now I have different kinds, but I do like lone grain. That's my favorite, the lone grain. And let's talk about the different uh, types of rice. Now. There's long grain, medium grain, and uh, short grain. We'll talk a little bit about the benefits of those, but let me just tell you that um, white rice is commonly, commonly known as polished rice. And it's excellent for storage. We can store this rice up to, uh, you know, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, depending on the temperature that the room, you know, that the rice is stored in. But whichever way you're doing it, it's still going to be long term. If you're using what we're going to use today, which are the Mylar bags, you're going to be able to store your food long term. And that's what you want to do now. You want to accumulate. So, you you know, you're, we talk about go to the store and stock up, go to the store and stock up. But when you go to the store, how do you stock up? Do you leave it sit in the containers that you get it in, in the bags or the buckets or whatever you get it in? No, if you want it for longer term, you can leave it in there and that'll stay good for about a year or so. Uh, but if you want it for longer term, there are ways to do that and that's using Mylar bags. Now here are some facts. It is recommended by the United States University of Utah. Uh, you know, they have like uh, extension offices. They recommend that for a family, you should store up at least 300 pounds of rice. And that would be between 25 and 60 pounds of rice per person per year. That's what they figure that most consumers eat between 25 to 60 pounds of rice a year. So we're storing the rice because of the way the economy is now, because of the food shortages, because of we're, we're not guaranteed that you're gonna be able to go to the store tomorrow and find that bag of rice. Well, if you have it in your storage and if you stored it properly, you'll have a rice that can last you, you know, 20, 30 years. So how much rice can you store is up to you, right? This is called a Mylar bag, a Mylar, M-Y-L-A-R. If you store your food items in here, it's not necessary that you have to use a food grade bucket. You can use any kind of bucket or you can use any kind of, uh, shall I say, plastic. You don't have to store it in a food grade bucket. The, Basically, the only time that you need to be concerned about storing your food products 
in a food grade bucket as if you're going to put it directly in there, like the rice that I have. Some of the rice I put directly into the food grade bucket. Some I put into a five gallon uh, Mylar bag. This Mylar bag, I believe it's about two pounds and it will hold this rice nicely. I'll be able to get all of this in here and some, okay? This rice here and these bags here are about four pounds. So I will be able to use that. Now, tips on the Mylar bags. When you buy your Mylar bags, uh, they come in different varieties. I'll put a link so that you can see the kind that I use. And it is suggested that you get uh, in um, strength no less than five meals. So I don't know if that's five milligrams or five, but five meals, no less than five meals. Because if you get anything, the, the, the point of the Mylar bag is to prevent sunlight from entering, okay? See, I can put my hand in there and you can't see my hand. If you got a thinner Mylar bag than this, the air, the light will go through and it will jeopardize the integrity of the food that you have inside. So get five meals. I'm gonna leave the link so you can look it up and you know you can go from there. Uh, and you can get any size that you want. They come in five gallons, they come in two gallons, they come in quart sizes. There's a variety of these Mylar bags. But today, like I said, we are going to be using uh, these which is about, I believe it's the two gallon, two gallon bags. Now, the bag that I have today, uh, I like these because there's a, like, it's already a Ziploc up here on it. So I will only have to close this bottom portion here. And when I get ready to use it, uh, I want you to see here, there's a little tear there, a little rip there, and I can rip it open. Now guys, remember this, you know, it's gonna cost you some money to buy these bags, but you can use them over and over and over again. Once you seal the bag, once you seal it up, then you can just go, you know, cut it when you open, get ready to use it and you can go lower and lower and lower, you know, and add things to it. I'm gonna do something a little bit different with the two gallon bags today. I'm gonna try to do a little more of a portion control for several reasons. I don't need a lot of rice at one time. I don't need a lot to, you know, I don't need this full of rice at one time because I do keep rice in jars and sealed jars, you know, gallon jars. But in case there comes an opportunity or a need, not an opportunity, a need down the line where I have to barter you know, I can come in here, I can take, I'm gonna, I'm gonna half this. I'm gonna make this, put this in half, and then I'm gonna have little small little packages this size of rice. This is the size that I'm gonna be, I'm gonna have. It's this size of the rice. So when I bring it in the house to use, or if I need to barter for something, you know, something that I don't have, and it comes to that, then I have smaller portions. And I'm gonna store them, I'll show you later once I, you know, do them all. I'll show you later where I'm going to, um, where I'm going to uh, store them. Uh, not in the five gallon buckets, I'm gonna put it in a bigger plastic container. I am going to be using, there's a little pink dot here. When you get them, you see the pink dot. That means that they are ready and they're good to use that when you put them in your container into your Mylar bag, it's going to pull out all the, or as much of possible uh, of the oxygen from the Mylar bag. Now that's what's gonna keep the oxy oxygen absorber along with, I also always use, as you guys know, I use bay leaves and I have a huge container of them. I'll leave the link for this for you also. I always put bay leaves in. Bay leaves help deter, you know, insects and all. I've talked a lot about that. I'm gonna show you uh, how I determine what size uh, 
oxygen absorbers that I'm gonna use. And uh, you just go to there and you can determine exactly uh, what, you, what it is that you want to use. Okay. So we're on the USA emergency supply. It tells you the, the size that you're gonna need to use. Now, if you just look at this real, you know, briefly here, guys, I want you to go and do your own. It tells you container type. And uh, if you use wheat, flour, grains, rice for more dense and less air, or for pasta, beans, less dense, more air. So we're gonna be right in here, and because we're using the rice, we want more dense and less air. And the top of this site is for uh, food storage buckets. We are going to be using Mylar bags. So let's go down, and it is going to bring us down to Mylar food storage bags. And here it tells you the different, if you use a six gallon, uh, you want to use 20 100 cc's or 1 2,000 cc's if you're using anywhere from a 5 to 6 gallon. That's not where we're going to be using. So we're going down to the 2 gallon bag. The bag that I have is about a 2 gallon bag. So the 2 gallon bag, uh, we can use 10 100 cc's. Or we can use uh, two 500 cc's, or we can use one 1,000 cc's, or one 2,000. Always remember, guys, you can use the 2,000 in anything. You can you can use you can never use too many cc's. It's not going to hurt you if you put a higher cc in, uh, but it will cause an issue if you have less of a cc in it. Okay. Um. Just like that. And then we're just going to take our rice. Now, like I said, this is a four pound. Usually these bags, no, this is three pounds. This one is three pounds. I have some bags that are four pounds. So this is a three pound bag. And it is the long grain that I love. You always wonder why your rice is uh, sticky and yucky, guys. Now you know why. You got, you're getting the wrong kind of rice. Uh, another thing, you know, a lot of people love brown rice. You know, they say that it's healthier for you and all of that. Well, long uh, brown rice does not store, just pour it in your bag. Brown rice does not store really well uh, at all because it's got some type of sugar or something in it that's going to see that now that bag this is bag is filled up halfway guys so we're going to open up another one here uh, brown rice does not store very well so you're just not going to be able to have brown rice stored for any extended length of time so okay so we're going to go ahead and we're going to put uh, i'm going to see how much i don't want to fill it up too much but and this is why i said i'm going to cut these bags in half because um, I want more access to my bags because I have five gallon buckets already filled up. So I don't need to have big bags uh, stored away. But I just wanted to show you how this, this you know, works. So, excellent. Okay, we got all of that. Oops. Of course, you're gonna spill some guys, right? So we got all of that in here. Look at that. That's very nice, very nice guys. Uh, and then we're gonna take our oxygen, uh, oxygen absorbers. Now, when you open these, well, I'm not gonna do these right, right now. Uh, I'm not gonna open it because I want you to know that once you open it, you need to work quickly in using them. Now, I believe there's about 10 in here. So even when I cut, the, cut this in half, uh, I'm gonna use the, uh, the 2000 uh, oxygen absorber, but um, I'll show you when I get done and we'll put all of the um, absorbers in there. Actually, I think I have some that are open already, but we'll do them all at one time. So this is the first step. Take a couple of your bay leaves, guys. 
See my bay leaves here? Take a few of your bay leaves. You don't have to count them, whatever. Just throw them in there. And you can move the rice around. I could have put some in the middle, you know. That helped get rid of bugs, really. It, it, You know, you can take some of these bay leaves and put them on the shelf in your pantry. And then you don't have to worry about, you know, bugs and things crawling around. So that's how we're going to get started. Now the next step that we're going to do is we're going to cut them in half. We're going to make her some barter bags. Okay, so the other bags that I just did, the rice one, rice was a three pound bag, guys. These are the, uh, what, you know, the, the store brand, the cheaper brand, and these are four pounds. So I'm gonna be able to put two pounds in each, instead of putting the whole four pounds in here, I'm gonna separate the bags. And I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do this. Uh, let me just move some things aside for right now so that you can see me a little bit better. I'm hoping that you're getting a good view, guys. I hope, hope, hope. So I'm going to just fold my bag up to where, right here, where it's already sectioned off, right? Because that's from here down is where I can put my food from here, from, from here down is where I can put my food. So I'm just gonna section it off right there. Okay. Just put me a line in here so I can kind of get a general idea. You know, when you're working and doing things, you know, you just gotta figure it out for yourself. Everything is not, you know, like written in stone. This is the way that I'm gonna do this. Now I want you to watch carefully. I'm gonna have a lot of nice little bags of rice that I can barter with, or that if I just need a little bit for the family, I can take a little bit out. I don't have to take a big bag. So let's start pouring it in. Oops. Okay, let's go like this way. Okay. Start pouring it in. Get it in there. <laughs> it's not going to be quick, easy, or cute, or pretty. It's just the right thing. I'm going to be using uh, this sealer. You can use this sealer uh, so for so many things, guys. And I found that it's really uh, helpful for me. It's called an impulse sealer. And it's really helpful for me when I'm doing storage and putting things away. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to do this. I'm going to seal it. I see where my line is, see when I pressed it. I want you to be able to see that when I pressed it down, I have a line there. So I can kind of about guess where I need to put it in here on the sealer, okay? So just about right there. And I'm gonna hold it up a little bit so that I can get it even better, okay? So I see where I gotta go. Put it on the sealer. And then I have, I didn't put the oxygen absorber in there. Why didn't you guys tell me? Mary, you didn't put the oxygen absorber in there. Absorber in here. Okay. And let's go back to doing what we were doing. We're going to put this up here. I'm going to hold it and I'm going to put it there, right there. That's about where I wanted to go. And then I'm going to press down with my sealer. Now these bags are a little bit longer than the sealer is, but that's no worries, guys. So just hold it down and, and press it. And we have a very nice seal going on here. Okay, let's see. Let's make sure. Yeah, got a very nice seal going. Uh, let me just turn my temperature up. Cause I had it down low because I wasn't using it because I was talking to you guys so let's do it again to make sure I can see where that is let's press down and we're gonna hold it okay I want you to be able to see the seal on there see the seal in there now I I'm a little leery about the end here though so I'm just gonna turn it around and I'm gonna seal it again but I'm gonna seal it on this side so that I make sure that I get that 
seal in. And you can see just about how to line it, line it up. These things are really nice. Very nice. You can use it for so many things. I'm gonna leave your link for that. I'll leave I'll make sure and leave your link for all of these things. You know, it's a, it's a lot of different items. Anytime I do use the Mylar bags, then I like to uh, put them in, you know, just these plastic containers. You can stack it up, stack it up, stack it up, as opposed to using the food grade uh, bucket. I could put it in a plastic container. It comes with a lid. I close it up and it's all good to go. Okay guys, so I just want you to see what the bag looks like when you're completely done. You're not gonna be able to put the oxygen absorber in there and then it immediately grabs out all the air and oxygen, no. Uh, what it's going to do, well air is still gonna be in there but all the oxygen out of there. Um, but what it's gonna do after 24 hours to about a week or so, slowly is going to work. The oxygen absorber is going to take as much oxygen out of this bag as it possibly can. And I'm gonna show you a couple of bags that I did um, at other times and what it looks like. Now here's one bag that I did. Uh, now this one is, is honey, bunny, but honey uh, bunch, bunches of oats, cereal. I like to put the cereal in here. It's gonna keep it nice and fresh. I don't wanna open up a box of cereal and it's stale. You can tell that it's, it's in there, you see? It's in there nicely, the uh, oxygen absorber. I did this 10, 10 of 20. So it's been two years now. This has been in here for two years, okay? And also look at this one. Sometimes you'll put it in a bag and it'll really, really absorb and it'll com compress all the way down to whatever it is that you have in there. This, um, I did also 10, 10 of 20 and these are Cheerios but look at the bag on this one look at look at how that's ab absorbed in there so the oxygen absorbers are absolutely a way that you can go and a way that you can uh, store up your uh, foods okay look at that that's not going anywhere these Cheerios are going to be in here for the next 20 30 years 20 30 years what you see, you know, anything on the shelves or whatever, those are foods that are gonna be eaten, rotating. Keep those things in rotation. But then keep all of your other food nicely stored away, guys. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me. And I hope you learned something from this. Uh, I hope that you could benefit from it, but you have to start somewhere. Just back up some rice, guys. Back up some rice. Order you some Mylar bags. Uh, order you some uh, 10 gallon uh, containers. Let me show you the 10 gallon containers. Uh, I mean the five gallon containers. They look like this. Uh, if you see over here, it says food grade. It reads food grade and all on there. Uh, I ordered these off the internet also. I'll leave a link as to where I got these. These I ordered with the lids. And that's because I like the lids that are the gamma lids. And the gamma lids are these. It's gamma seal, okay? And the way that they work is they really seal so that if you need to open it, if you can see how that's made over here, if you need to open it, instead of taking the lid off, all you have to do is turn this. Turn this. Kind of hard, because I'm holding it in my hand. This is how you open it. And then this lid is still going to be on top of the, uh, the bucket. It'll still be on top of the bucket and you go in there and you take out whatever you need and then you put this lid back on there and you seal it back up. It's much easier to get to as opposed to the uh, other buckets, I mean the other lids and the other lids. Then you can use the regular lids, right? And use you one of these bad boys. <laughs> <laughs> you open it with this and you cannot go wrong, okay? There's a device and something for everything. So guys, I've held you long enough. Let me get off of this video. But I want you to get this because we are back into the prepper pantry 
getting things together, stocking more supplies. Uh, we want to be ahead of the game. We want to be ahead of the game. We'll see what's going on out there. There's no time to waste. Buy a little bit here, a little bit there. Guys, I'll see you in the next video, and I love you. Bye-bye now.